The high-pressure oil system suffers from leaks in many places caused by the pressure pulsations from the high-pressure pump. Some of these areas of leakage will include the fittings and plugs on the high-pressure pump itself. The high-pressure pump can be resealed using a factory-supplied reseal kit. If you choose to reseal the high-pressure pump, the plug on the bottom retains an edge filter as well as a check ball. The relationship of those components is fairly unique. The check ball is actually retained in the side in a passageway, and the pin, which is part of the high-pressure plug, holds the edge filter in itself. The injection pressure regulator, or IPR, can also be referred to as a fuel pressure regulator in the Ford manuals and Ford parts catalogs. The injection control pressure sensor, or ICP, can also be referred to as a timing sensor in the Ford service manuals. To replace the IPR, first remove the jam nut and spacer, then remove the coil. This will allow access with an inch and an eighth deep well socket. Removal of the IPR may show a broken O-ring on the end as a source of your problems. The O-ring kit is available separately, but remember the IPR is a very high failure rate item and replacement of the IPR may be a wiser choice. The high pressure oil system is a closed loop system which works with the ICP sensor feeding a voltage to the PCM. The PCM then measures the pressure, compares it to the desired pressure, and adjust the IPR duty cycle accordingly. The IPR duty cycle is then fed to the IPR regulator which controls the high pressure oil pressure. What can go wrong? Several things, but the most common culprit is the IPR solenoid and it's easy to be fooled. The first problem that you can have is high pressure aeration. Aeration can be caused by worn out anti-foaming ingredients in the engine oil itself in which case you change the engine oil. Other items that can cause this are a cracked oil pump pickup tube, a worn oil pump, or a worn timing cover flange. Another source of problems can be the ICP sensor lying to the PCM. This can be caused by a bad sensor or by a wiring problem with the harness. Another source of problems can be a lack of IPR command or lack of electrical signal to the IPR. This can be caused by a bad PCM, a wiring problem, or a blown fuse, and we will result in a no start. The most common source of problems in the ICP system is a lack of IPR solenoid control. This is actually the spool valve inside the IPR sticking caused by the 400 Hz signal wearing a groove on the interior bore of the IPR. Another source of problems in this system can be caused by the lack of resistance to oil flow output. You can have a good oil pan full of good oil, a good pickup tube, a good low pressure pump, a good high pressure pump, a good ICP and a good IPR and still not have any pressure in the system. This is caused by a lack of resistance or having a large leak in the cylinder head. The most common source of a large leak is going to be from an injector O-ring but an injector poppet that is stuck halfway will also cause this same problem, resulting in either a hard start or no start condition. One way to diagnose this is to look at the IPR command in scan data while the engine is idling. At a hot engine idle, the IPR command should be between 9 and 11 percent. If there is an injector O-ring leaking, the IPR command will commonly be in the 12 to 15 percent range or above that,